Hey guys, welcome back. Today we'll be talking about how to build an engine cradle out of recycled materials and turn that engine cradle into a run stand. So I've been working on this engine. I uh, dropped a valve in the 55 last week, maybe the week before, I don't remember. So I've been trying to get this engine put together. Now it's time to fire it up. And uh, before I swap it into the car, I want to make sure it runs good. Um, and so what I'm going to use, do is take some old metal, uh, an old bed frame actually, and turn it into a, uh, an engine cradle. So whenever I transport engines um, and move them around or whenever I pull one out, I have somewhere to put it. And I might actually make two of them. Uh, and then also we're going to do something else to make like a little, turn it into somewhat of a run stand. Um, and it's going to be low buck, DIY. So um, y'all stay tuned. Thanks. Okay guys, we're going to build a very basic cradle. Okay. And uh, the way we're going to do this is we're going to bring the leg down from here so we'll have a leg from here on this side and a leg from there on that side and I'm okay with doing like this because I use these motor mounts on just about every build I have they're very convenient they're very universal um, and I like them you can pick a set of them up for like five bucks to swap me um, and so I'll just put another set and leave it with this motor stand now this will be basically be for a big block you may be able to fit a small block on this but I really don't know because I don't have any small blocks um, so I took some basic measurements, I uh, went three inches past the back of the block um, to pass the water pump and I'm right at 36 inches. So we'll make the, the platform 36 inches long and then um, from here to a couple inches below the uh, pan is about 15 inches and I think that's a good height. So we'll make two bars that are 15 inches, two that are 36 and then this back one will make it probably 17 inches and trim it to fit. And then we'll have two more that go across that are going to be around 20 inches. Okay guys, so here's what we have as material. These are uh, two bed frames that I found. They were completely free. So really besides the $5 I paid for the motor mounts um, and then what tools I use, this will be a complete completely free build. Now also I have this bell housing. I'm going to use this for the bolt pattern to transfer um, the bolt pattern onto the angle iron. Um, but this thing will be completely made out of angle iron and like these little plates on the end. I'll use those probably for my motor mounts. But if you look at these, they are two different thicknesses. This one's a little thicker. I'll probably use this um, for my base and then use these thinner ones for my crossbars. And um, we'll get started on it.
so here we have our our front legs uh, bolted up they're loose still um, now we made this 15 inches from here to here next thing we're gonna do is take the frame that we made and we're gonna set it up there tack it in place get it measured and um, then weld it out so we'll do that This thing is super solid. Uh, we might have to do a little clearance back here on this back leg to clear a starter so that uh, we can actually get a starter and flywheel on it um, to fire it up. Now, that's going to be all for this video. I'm going to post a, uh, another video. I'm going to label it part two. Part, this will be part one, then I'll label it part two. Um, we're going to build a, like a little jump pack starter box um, because here's the thing. When you're not using this stuff, I don't have a whole lot of storage room, so for me to build a big run stand, it's not it's not economical for me to have to store that whenever I'm not using it. So what I'm going to do is make a smaller version of a run stand. So this will be my actual stand and doubles as a cradle, and then I'll build a pack that I can carry around. Maybe go to like if I'm going somewhere to try to start a vehicle, I'll be able to take it with me. I'll have a battery and everything I need to 
um, fire an engine up like in a vehicle or out of the vehicle. And um, y'all may be wondering about water, um, a radiator. Now there is room up here to put a radiator and I may do that, but to just run this thing, what I'm probably gonna do is run a water hose in it and um, water hose out of it so that uh, we have some water flowing through there. Uh, so look, thank y'all for watching. Remember, like, subscribe, comment, and uh, we'll see you in part two. Thank you.